Hey guys and welcome to Skilllink. Our smartphones are getting smarter by the day and the cameras are getting even smarter. So much so that they've replaced the usual cameras that we used to take around. A notable feature in these cameras is the slow motion feature. And this adds a lot of drama to our social media posts. But how does slow motion work exactly? We've seen a lot of videos on YouTube which have been shot at 24,000 FPS and even 100,000 FPS. But we're not going to go that extreme. We're going to keep the numbers a little more manageable and explain how slow motion actually works. But first, let's understand what a photograph is. A photograph is an image captured over a duration of time. If you see sports photographs, these are captured at higher shutter speeds, or rather, they are captured over a very, very short duration of time. It can either be 1 800th of a second or 1000th of a second even. This is to freeze action. But if you want to show the trails of light left behind by traffic, then you need to shoot at probably say one tenth of a second or even one second or two seconds, right? But these are pictures. Videos work a little differently. In order for the human brain to perceive motion, it needs to see at least 16 images per second. But to be sure, when we are shooting videos, we shoot at at least 24 frames per second. Now, what does this frames per second mean actually? So I have a meter scale here with me and I have a card which is placed over here. And I've taken a picture of the car traveling every centimeter of this scale, right? Now, if I take the first 24 images and I display it to you over one second, then what you would see is the car travel from zero to 24 in one second. Now, if I take the next 24 images and I show you the car travel from zero to 48 centimeters, then what you would be seeing is the car travel from 0 to 48 centimeters in one second. So what this means is, in the first instance, I'm showing you each image for 1 24th of a second. And in the second instance, I'm showing you each image for 1 48th of a second. So in the first instance, you saw from 0 to 24 in one second. In the second instance, you saw from 0 to 48, twice the distance in the same one second. But what if I flip this? What if I show you each frame for 1 24th of a second, irrespective of the distance the car has traveled? So what happens is, in the first second, you will see the car travel from 0 to 24. And in the second second, you will see the car travel from 24 to 48. So what I've effectively done is by displaying each picture for twice the duration, that is rather than 1 48, I've displayed it to you for 1 24th of a second. I've increased the duration of the car traveling from 0 to 48 by twice. I have also captured it from 0 to 96. And if I show you these 96 images over one second, you will see the car travel from 0 to 96 in one second, which is four times the distance. But if I show you each picture that I've taken for 1 24th of a second rather than 1 96th of a second, you will see the car travel from 0 to 96 over four seconds. So I've slowed down the video by four times. Now imagine this being done at 24,000 frames per second. So I have to capture 24,000 images per second and then display each of them to you over 1 24th of a second. And that is how these high-speed cameras work. Our cell phones can capture about 240 FPS right now, and that's 10 times slower than what you can actually see in real life. And that is a marvel by itself because it's a handheld device, because high frame rate cameras are usually very bulky.